me bring this a little closer. All right. Sorry about that. All right, we're live. My hair is all over the place. Let's just all accept it and move on. Today, this is a new format. This is Alkaline TV, and this is the first Alkaline Vegan podcast. Today, we're talking about hybrid foods versus Dr. Sebi's diet or food list, Dr. Sebi's nutritional guide, whatever you want to call it. So you're in the right place. If that's what you're interested in, tune in. We're going to talk about it. Fala, nice to see you. Peace and blessings. <laughs> it's good to see some friendly people tuning in. Happy to see you. Awesome. Welcome. Glad to see your comments coming in. And I appreciate you being here. Two thumbs up already. You guys rock. Awesome. Thank you. Putting us on the map so that YouTube algorithm will actually show people my video. That's great. All right, excellent. So people are starting to tune in. Hello, Carrie. Nice to see you virtually. Excellent. Well, I'm glad that I decided to do this today. It was a good time. And I'm going to start doing, this is a new format. This is the first one. It's, gonna, it's called the Alkaline Vegan Podcast, where basically I have a long list of videos that I want to make. Uh, I've had a long list building for years that I'm always pulling from and adding to when you have suggestions, I add it to those lists so that I can remember it all and document it all. So if you have ideas for future episodes, let me know in the comments. Um, some of you have already made suggestions and some of them I've already made videos of. Some of them are still on the list. So I'm getting to them as I go. And this I think is would be a good format for me to just bang out some of these topics. I want to get this information out there. It's no good if it's just rattling around in my head. This The purpose of this channel is to share information and get the dialogue going. I'm not perfect and I don't know everything. However, I've done so much research, usually seven days a week, for more than the last decade. So I have a lot of good info to share. Gigi, hello. Nice to see you. Welcome. So today I want to talk about hybrid foods because... It's, it was the first thing on the list. Still waiting for the mushroom powder, said Carrie. If we could do Zoom. So, yes, I'm still... I was just talking to someone yesterday that uh, about mushrooms. And I am... I have some cool stuff going on that uh, has been taking all my extra money. So the um, I, I'm going to make an announcement about that soon. And actually, I just started a Patreon. I don't know if anyone will like it or anything like that. No one's even seen it yet. But there's a link in the description. Well, there should be. And if you want to check that out, you can. But I'm not um, forcing that on anyone. <laughs> so there's some things in there like behind the scenes things that I haven't been sharing on social media that I want to show uh, just the loyal fans of the channel and not, I don't want to blast it out for the world to see quite yet, but I have some good stuff in the works and I'm excited about that. So this is one of the new format ideas I have. Let's see how well it goes and then I'll keep doing it if it's good. My goal is to do a video a day in April. So I've been working and compiling a lot of different stuff and there's there's a whole team of people working on some of this stuff. So I'm very excited for the future, but right now it's just seems, you know, when you're right in the middle of it, sometimes it seems really slow when you have a exciting project that I just want it to be done but it's, some of these things take time. So let's get on to the topic, which is hybrid foods. And if you're not familiar with the list of foods, I have that list in 
the free Facebook group. If some of you are already in that, there's a list in there. You can print it out and hang it on your fridge because that is the best thing I've found in my long and stressful journey back when I was sick looking for the solution. Years and years and years were going by. I was trying everything imaginable. You've probably done that before if, you're, if you've made it to my channel and maybe you found my channel in your own hunt for the truth or actual info and not just disinformation garbage, which most of Google or most of the internet is. Because I've tried it myself and so much, so many of those things don't work. I talk about this in other videos, gluten-free and all that stuff, which is, you know, a good idea in general, but the gluten, like anything you go to the store and buy that says gluten-free on the label, I turn it over and start reading and start seeing what's actually in there, the ingredients, and that stuff is disgusting. I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. So that gluten-free stuff, I just lump it into the fad scam category. However, you know, a lot of the healthy foods that I would eat would be technically gluten-free, almost all of them. So the only thing I eat with gluten, I think the only thing would be spelt. And the difference between spelt and wheat is that wheat is hybrid, which is what we're talking about in this video. Hybrid, what does that even mean? Because we throw that word around a lot and what is hybrid? Well, I think a better word is mutant, artificial. Artificial is better because it was created by humans. It was an invention. It wasn't natural. So whenever they have something hybrid in the store and it says natural, all natural on the label, I face palm and I just think, who's, who is regulating all this? They are not keeping track. They're not, they're not in the loop or they are in the loop and they're purposefully misrepresenting it, which is a whole nother thing and I would call evil, but you know, my judgments don't matter. That's just my opinion. I focus on the facts, not my opinion. However, if you want my opinion, you can ask, but it doesn't have as much weight as the laws of the universe, which I always refer back to because opinions can change, but the laws of the universe, which I would call nature, that doesn't change. Humans' opinions change. Fashion style changes a little, but the base of the fundamentals stay the same. So you can tap into the ancient, which is the natural, the farther back you go, and it's gonna be more fundamental, it's gonna be fun more fundamentally sound in my experience. But the new things that people are introducing is usually marketing. Like why are they hybridizing food? Why are they inventing new types of food? Why don't we just have the natural, why was there any ever anything more added? That's a good question. That's the question we need to be asking. Well, I have the answer because I've been doing business for 15 years and I've seen behind the curtain and I've seen, I've been studying psychology for over 15 years and I understand mind control and marketing. Of course, I'm still studying it and most people don't understand this at all, which is causing them a problem. Ignorance is gonna take whatever you have and give it, someone else is gonna get it from you because they were, they had the better information and they tricked you basically. So, I mean, all marketing isn't necessarily a trick, but 
it's better to be aware and to ask questions. I don't just blindly believe whatever I see on a label or in an advertisement because I'm a business person and I've made the labels and I've made the advertisements and I know other business people and they're not ethical people, mostly. I'm just throwing out a number, I would say 95% or more are not what I would call ethical, but I'm, you know, I have high standards, I guess. Um, I don't think my standards are high until I go out into the market and compare, but that's not, I'm not comparing, I'm just looking at nature and using that as my going back. And you know, sometimes you stray, but then you should bring it back to nature. And if you were straying too far and having some kind of suffering, odds are something was unnatural. Something was unnaturally causing, you know, yeah, some things in nature are toxic too, but most of these were we've invented and that's the state of the marketplace that we're in right now. So you need to be realistic about what's going on and, and you have to know in advance that just because it says natural on the label doesn't mean jack squat. You should raise your standards. If you're on my channel, you probably have high standards and are looking for the actual information. Um, you know, most people don't land on my videos unless they've already been down some sort of rabbit hole and been searching for information for a long time. So the general public doesn't usually find this type of video interesting, but it's only people that have been hunting for a long time and, and feel like, oh, finally, the, I can get some information. I appreciate the thumbs up. I saw whoever did that, I, thank you. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And you know I do my best to promote the channel, but your thumbs ups help. Your comments also help and shares help as well. So I appreciate that. Spread the word. And I need all the help as I can get because I've had this channel for five years and uh, I talk about subjects that aren't that popular. So, you know, the mainstream would get a lot more attention, but I choose on purpose to be that guy and that's, that's okay. So I appreciate you for watching and tuning in. It's a uh, rare type of information to share. There's not that much info out there on it. So um, what do you want to know about hybrid foods? You know, I can rant all day long about going to the store and there's almost only hybrid food. I mean, 90% of what's at the store didn't exist a hundred years ago. Think about that for a second. Just take a minute and think and let that sink in. The food that most people, food, I wouldn't even call it food. I would give it air quotes. You know how air quote happy I am on my channel. I wouldn't even call this stuff food because I wouldn't put it in my mouth if I, unless it was an accident because I found out the hard way. So I didn't just find this out accidentally or I didn't, Nobody came around and told me this. I had to hunt and hunt. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into finding this info. That's why I'm talking about it in, in a lot of videos these days. So I have over 200 videos and I'm making more because in my older videos, the content is good, but I was just using a really cheap smartphone or something. I used to have a good camera several years ago when I started the channel and then I it was overheating when I would take video. It was a DSLR, it was good for taking, um, it was good for video and it was good for photo but the videos would overheat and that was just terrible. So I am now using another phone and I usually use my iPad as a monitor, but I'm planning on getting a GoPro and I'm planning on getting a better camera so that I can improve the quality of the audio 
from and the video, of course. So I'm upgrading the channel as we go. I appreciate everyone that's already subscribed thus far with the subpar equipment. It has been a struggle sometimes to make some of the videos. Be behind the scenes is quite hilarious. Um, maybe in the future I will. I have some behind the scenes stuff. I'm gonna start sharing on the Patreon. The link's in the description, but uh, we'll see how that goes. It's just an experiment, so you'll have to let me know how it works. And I have a lot of requests coming in for mushroom powder. Actually, it's not just you, Carrie. So um, I'm getting a lot. When I finally get it, I'm gonna get, I'm getting a bulk amount, so I should have enough for, uh, for a while and for everyone. So it's becoming popular in the future, I think, the medicinal mushrooms. I also have some books coming in for identifying some field guide when, if you know, I have uh, some mushroom hunting videos, which are really fun to make. And cooking with the wild mushrooms is really fun too. I have an entire cooking series. But the my favorite wild mushroom last year I found was crown-tipped coral mushroom. Mm. It was the most delicious thing I think I've ever had. It was up there and it was free just in mother nature. It was popping out. So Gigi's Place said, I love your videos. Wow, thank you so much. That makes me really happy because a lot of time and effort gets put into these. So when you l appreciate them, it's like, yeah, feel, I feel it. Thank you so much for giving me the feedback. I don't know if you like them or not until you tell me. So when you tell me, I, I do appreciate it. You know, the haters out there have no problem telling me but usually I just banish them instantly. Banished from the channel. It's, an, it's a no, no troll policy. <laughs> Gotta keep it positive. So I appreciate all the positive people. We have one of, the, I think, one of the most positive channels on all of YouTube. We have some of the best subscribers, definitely. I really appreciate all of you. Um, not to get all touchy-feely on you, but... Thank you so much. So, what else do you want to know about hybrid food? I think it's really fascinating how almost no one knows about this. And you really have to hunt and hunt and hunt. And there's a lot of fake alkaline diets out there. I know because I've tried them myself. Before I finally landed on the right info and the Dr. Sebi and the Arnold Eret was talking about the mucusless diet a hundred years ago, believe it or not. And there's a lot of fascinating things I've been learning recently that have been going on for thousands of years. And I'm just finding out, you know, some hybrid foods, I read somewhere recently, they hybridized, started hybridizing rice 13,000 years ago. I know that they've been hybridizing foods for thousands of years, and most people don't know, and most foods have a non-GMO label on them. Ha 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 ha. They're living in a fantasy world where, oh yeah, only, a, only the last 20 years exists. And, uh, Forget about all that other stuff that happened. Yeah, right. Other countries know. Other countries have some of the history documented. They know when the Spanish brought over hybrid food, or they know when Holland invented this or that. This has been going on, and don't be fooled by the fake marketing of natural whatever. I get the I get the advertisements too. I get all the same advertisements that you get. Although I try to avoid them like the plague. 
unless I'm doing market research and then I'm all over all the advertisements for research, research's sake. Yeah, that's another part of the what goes into doing this. You know how many ads I, and uh, I click on ads because I'm studying marketing. So sometimes I actually click on the ads and go find out what they're doing and go and record everything they're up to. So I see what the other companies are up to. I go and do research and find out what's going on. And usually I'm, uh, it doesn't meet my high standards. I mean, it's, I don't like, I don't feel like my standards are that high. I just, it's the feedback I'm getting from the outside world that makes me say that. Uh, so in my experience, that's what I've found. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. I see each one coming in and every each one is helpful for the oops for getting my message out there. And it's not really my message as well. I've just learned a lot. I've learned as much as I can and I've lived in different countries and um, I geek out on this information. So I'm fascinated by science and, you know, results. So what makes me, uh, the reason I learned so much, well, I've got a stack of books in front of me right here for one. I've got a full bookshelf over there and I've got books in the mail that are on their way here. So. I invest, one of the things I invest in is books. The book I have coming in the mail is for mushroom uh, hunting, a field guide and that kind of thing. So there's, a, there's some things that books are better than the internet. I mean, the internet is amazing and there's a lot we can do for free and or for very little that we never used to be able to do on the internet, but you know, sometimes books are better and more convenient and doesn't hurt my eyes. When I do long live videos, sometimes I, uh, I did a live the other day that went over four hours of Q and A. So if you have questions, ask below. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna go four hours, but hey, never know. You have good questions then we'll go for it. Um, I'm trying to get my channel monetized. So it's been taking years so far. And what I need right now is the watch time. So I think more live Q and A's are the way to go. So if you have questions, I've hopefully got answers. And if I don't have the answer, I'll tell you and I'll try to point you in the right direction. I don't pretend to know things that I don't know. And, um, you know, because there are smart people tuning in and they would probably find out eventually. So if I find out better, then I'll change what I, you know, I'm updating my info all the time as best as I can. But like I said before in the video, the fundamentals of the laws of the universe stay the same. So it's only pop culture that keeps changing. But the fundamentals of the, the rules of the universe stay the same. And that's good for us because that means once we learn what's going on, we can ride the wave instead of being crashed, crushed underneath the wave. And I've been there, done that as well. So I learn the hard way sometimes, but I have learned from other people's mistakes too, a lot, and save yourself, you know, a lot of pain and suffering by learning from other people's mistakes. And all the things on my channel are based on mistakes I've made or problems I've had. None of these videos are fluff. This is all, you know, I'm really focused on getting the result, the result. <laughs> All these other people, there's plenty of fake gurus on YouTube that can fluff, fluff it all around and make you feel 
positive thinking. I'm not, I'm not into that. When I talk about positive thinking, it's about being positive. That's the positive thinking. So thank you again, someone, for the thumbs up. I see you. If you don't have any questions about hybrid food, then I will sign off. Do you, what do you think about this new format for an alkaline vegan podcast where daily or a few days a week, I do one like this, just chatting about the specific alkaline vegan issues because, you know, it's not a popular topic and it's hard to find this kind of info. So I want to get the conversation going and I want to keep the information flowing. Also, I have a lot of food videos on deck that are um, being edited and re-edited. So I am sometimes, I want them to be good because people are, people have a lot of feedback and people have a hard time sometimes with the cooking. I just, the way I started out the cooking videos, I just put the camera on it and I just showed me cooking. But I don't use measuring. I don't measure and I don't, you know, I go off of the taste. So I had a lot of feedback coming in to measure and to write down the recipes and this and that. So I'm trying to take all that feedback into account and make the cooking videos better so that, um, you know, the video, the, these videos aren't for me. I can just cook by myself without anyone watching, but the making it a video is for sharing it with other people and helping other people cook or helping them, well, helping them get the better result, which is, you know, shifting from the hybrid foods to the non-hybrid natural foods, of course, which is why we're probably here to begin with. And most people, the reason they found my channel is from the spelt bread videos. And I think that's fascinating, but um, I will make some more of that in the future. This week, I am mostly juicing and just having juice. So far, what I had today was, I think, apple cucumber, which was is not my favorite, but I had it anyway. And then I had just straight up cantaloupe, which if it's ripe, oh man, you can't beat fresh ripe cantaloupe juice, freshly juiced. It's so good. It's the best thing ever. People that don't like cantaloupe, they didn't have it ripe or, you know, sometimes the, it's very underripe depending on where you live. If it's coming from far away, that's unfortunate. Of course, if you have the land to grow it yourself, that would always be better, but not everyone can do that. So we have to buy it from someone. And then I wait until it's ripe, where it's right before it goes bad. And there's a fine window in there where it's not only is its pH going up, 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 up as it gets more ripe, the melon is super, super sweet, and when it's ripe, yes, the ripe melon is so good, but if it's not ripe, ew, get it out of here. <laughs> but that's what I had today. I've just been, last week I juiced, and then over the weekend I ate solid foods. <laughs> so, and honestly, I could have just kept juicing all weekend, but, um, I'm not, I'm not detoxing for any specific reason. Um, I'm just kind of just doing it just because I kind of felt like it. So there's not a specific, um, you know, I'm just once in a while, I just feel like just juice. But years ago, back when I was sick, I needed to get off of the toxic foods and everything like that. And juicing is probably one of the best ways, if not the best way, other than water fasting. So good luck if you're going alkaline. 
if you if you're trying to go alkaline and if you've been attempting to shift over I have a 12-week transformation program some of the people watching are in the program already but I am accepting a couple more people if I, I don't accept everyone as a client but if you're really serious about going alkaline and if you've tried it and you're having a hard time then do reach out because it's hard to do it's hard without a support group it's hard without knowing what's going on. It's hard with all the disinformation on Google search. It's hard for all the fake alkaline diets out there. There are a lot of reasons that make it a pain, but since I've done that years ago, in hindsight, it's very simple, and there are some key things that um, I could help you with. Hopefully this video is helping with it. That's the, that's the point. So I have a lot of videos on my channel also, 200 plus videos, and they're all geared towards helping you get a result. And they're all based on my traumatic experiences learning the hard way. And in hindsight, it's always easier, of course. And hopefully you can learn from my failures, turn them into your successes, because I've been able to luckily turn several failures into wins and I want to help pass that same spirit along because you know you can use all anything you can get in this world that we're in right now the pop culture there's not that many people encouraging you to be healthy if you're living in an area like I am I don't know some areas are different some places that I've lived have been different some different cultures have been more focused on health than others. But the, where I'm from, there's little interest in health. But that's changing, you know. Um, although people think that they're focusing on health, a mask is not health. Gloves are not health. Soap is not health. I'm talking about biochemistry but I guess that's over most people's heads but I try to oversimplify everything so that you can actually use it to get a result instead of just you know using it to throw big words around and get no result like most intelligent people that have no results <laughs> calling them out but that's okay because who am I to judge I'm just another human trying to do my best and encourage others to do their best. And on that note, I think that's a good spot to wrap it up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wow, a lot, uh, some more people gave it a thumbs up. I appreciate that for sure. If you're watching this in the replay, I appreciate you as well. And there have been so many new subscribers recently. Thank you so much. And I'm uh, flattered that finally my videos are getting good enough for people to subscribe. I've had the channel for six years or so. And I've had other channels even for longer. But th this channel seems to be doing well. This year I'm putting more into it. I plan on doing a video a day in April. So I've been like gearing up for that. So hopefully we can hit that goal. Um, if we don't hit that goal, we'll be close. And I've got a bunch of them that I'm going to try to pump out. Um, I might space them out a little bit more, and but we'll see what we can do. Doing the best that we can with the uh, limited... Uh, limited budget and uh, equipment for this channel so we've been able to do quite a lot with the <laughs> tiny kitchen and the cell phone camera is quite amazing I mean technology has come a long way so this year I plan on um, if everything goes like it should I mean we've been getting hundreds of new subscribers every month now so it should be, it should be, um, the channel should be monetized sometime this summer. And then that will 
give me the excuse to end hopefully a little bit of extra capital to get some better camera and mic and lighting and stuff like that so you can see the food better and hear the message better. Just make, it'll just make it, give it a little bit of an edge because you know we're competing with the entire world on YouTube. So the quality of the video is very important. And you know, some people are more, care about that more than others. But for my, uh, you know, I keep wanting to raise the bar. And we've been doing this so long on just cell phone cameras. It's time to get a legitimate camera and see how you like that. So uh, let's see, should be there by August, maybe July. So by then, if you're watching this, later in the summer, my new videos should be have it be more crisp and my new thumbnails should be more, should be better, let's see. But it's with your help that it's possible. You know, I can't just watch and like my own videos, it doesn't do anything. So thank you so much for the help, thank you for sharing. Once in a while someone shares one of my recipes and they, the views rocket so thank you so much for if you're in some kind of groups where my recipe videos would be relevant. I mean, don't just spam the internet with it. That's just going to make people hate me. But uh, that, I don't mind. But, um, you know, good uh, some good groups that the recipes would be relevant. The people that shared it, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and I'll continue to raise the bar and bring you better information as I can. So ask your questions and let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the next episode of Alkaline Vegan Podcast and I will do it soon. Until next time, have an amazing day on purpose. Peace.